Hey there, welcome back. Now in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and um, check out and test um, a used Job Link probe set that I bought on eBay. So, I'm just going to go ahead and um, basically do a full inspection, make sure they're calibrated properly, test them against um, some Job Link probes that I've already got and other therm uh, thermometers. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get, open it up and see what we're working with. Okay, nice. So far, that's a pretty good sign. Um, comes with the case and everything. Case seems to be in pretty good condition. Um, let's see. Let's open it up and see what we got. So this kit came with... Um, Three psychrometers, three of the flex psychrometers, JL, three RH, two of the clamp, the pipe clamp meters, and then just two of the pressure probes here. So, um, so far they look pretty good. Um, not too much wear, they're a little dirty. But um, as far as wear, they don't, they don't seem to be too bad. Matter of fact, definitely want to check the sensors, make sure they're still in decent order. Some duckboard insulation on there. But yeah, the uh, sensors seem to be pretty good. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now, I'm just gonna fire these things up and get them linked with the app. Alright, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is, um, Test these against my. I've got some existing probes here. I'm just gonna go ahead and fire these up. Starting off, I'll turn on so that's good. Got batteries and everything. I just turn on my probes that I know are good and calibrated. Those there. So now I'm just going to I'm going to measure quick because I'm not sure if the field piece I'll check the field piece app, but I'm not sure if they um if the field piece app actually accepts more than just two probes at a time. One thing I will say that I noticed off the bat that's pretty cool. These are the ones that I've that I use my the ones I already had and you can see they've got a lot more paint wear paint scratch wear than the kit that I just bought used so that's a pretty good sign and this one has been replaced once um, yeah the return one's already been replaced once um, and I probably only had that maybe three or four months so they might be pretty decent order so I just had to show unused probes, so now I'm showing all the probes. And as you can see, at least the ones that came out of the bag, out of the box, are pretty much around the same temperature, 86.6, 86.7. So that's really good, actually. And these came, were in my other bag, so that's why it's a couple degrees warmer. They were just, I just pulled them out of my bag. So all the humidities, 51, 52, 56. Humidities look to be pretty good. Um, battery life, decent. 
So, psychrometers seem to be in pretty good shape. Once again, I like to check how stable they are. A lot of times, the temperatures will swing once they, and you know, when they're when the sensors are going bad or getting old or dirty. So the temperatures definitely look pretty stable. I'll let them sit here, you know, for about 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, honestly, they, the the psychrometers seem to be pretty solid, pretty um, working pretty well. So we'll let those um. Set these up to the side and let these kind of um, stabilize. In the meantime, let's just go ahead and check these pipe clamps. This is my first time ever using these, so line temperature clamp. One is showing 84.2, one is showing 83.9. So, well, 84 now, so it's off by 0.2 degrees that's good that's pretty solid let's see if we can get a surface some pipe I cut off of a mini split I just want to see how fast how rapidly the temperature changes here as well they say it's supposed to stabilize within five seconds so Showing 86.8. So they've stabilized pretty well. This is a piece of pipe that's been left, it's been in the sun, sitting in the sun for hours now. So it's got to be at least 130 degrees. So what we're going to do is watch how long it takes to stabilize. 116.7, 117, other pipe. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty in impressive. Um, it definitely is rapid. I mean, it's showing really stable. Uh, temperatures are very stable. 103.6, 103.4. I'm about to get a, another piece of um, copper pipe I had sitting in ice for a little bit, a couple minutes here. And um, we're going to see how fast it drops from the 102 down to whatever, 40, 50 degrees that the um, other pipe is. I just had this pipe submerged in ice water for about you know, two or three minutes. So, okay, we're showing um, about 98 degrees, 99 degrees. Put them on the cooler pipe. Jump down to 75. That's really cool. I must say that's one of the coolest features. And I'll show you how that compares against um, a Testo. This is just a thermistor. Um, a thermistor sensor here and as you can see got my testo here so 86 degrees we'll see how long it takes to get this up to temperature I think you get the point. But yeah, as you, you can see the difference. There's a pretty major difference in the um, just the speed that it takes to stabilize. I honestly thought that was a gimmick um, when I saw a few videos and reviews on these things, but because they don't really cover them too well as far as just the the technology behind it and why it uh, why they um, respond so rapidly. But um, yeah, they should probably do a little bit more cover a little bit more in detail these probes because they're really really 
they really make a difference. Um, as far as I'm concerned, they're going to be a pretty, it's going to be a game changer in my day to day activities. Last but not least, let's put these to the side. So, yeah, last but not least, I've got the pressure probes here. Just going to turn them on. I'm not really going to do anything crazy with these as far as testing. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure they're both uh, stable at zero for a little bit, which uh, they seem to be. Testos are a little bit smaller. Which is no biggie. It should still fit pretty well in the bag. And I'm not sure how well this is gonna how well these are gonna fare in the bag like that, but um I guess I'll just have to use them when it's time to use them. I don't really like that ninety, but yeah, whatever. Or 45, sorry. So as you can see, my hydrometers are showing pretty much a, um, around the same temperature. We got 84.8, 84.8, 86.5, 85 85.1, 85.8. It's not much of a swing. Humidity, 57.6, 58.3, 55.8. At the three point zero, so they're really within range. Both temperature clamps, pipe clamps are eighty nine within point one of a degree off of one another. Let's see what the testo is showing. Testo is showing eighty nine point six two. So yeah, that's looking good. Other than that, the bag is in really good, really good condition. Um, no tears, rips. You know, all in all, I'd say this is a pretty good buy. Um, I got the whole kit on eBay for it was three twenty-five plus shipping and tax. I think after everything is like three sixty from all these probes. So I'll minus this test on. But yeah, like I said, that was a pretty decent deal, I'd say. Um, and like I said, I've been wanting to replace these Testo Smart Pros for a while. Just because um, one of my liquid line clamps had actually it's got a phantom draw on it, so it's killing the batteries. Um, you know, just sitting in the bag. And like I said, even with it off and you know, it's just a phantom draw on it. I tested it. Also, I've really been wanting to try these here um rapid rail clamps, and they definitely live up to their namesake. They're super fast as far as uh stabilizing so can't wait to try those in the field not to mention you know just having a few more psychrometers um see if we can experiment a little bit with these and try different things i, I know the um measure quickest has has a couple cool little um duck leak test that need a couple of psychrometers so i might try that out uh other than that, oh yeah, and not to mention just the actual range that these things have got over the Testo um, first generation. I think I get over 350 feet with these. And these things, I'm lucky if I get 10 to 15 feet. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I think it should be a pretty good um, addition to my kit. Now we'll see how I'm going to fit all these in my uh, Vito bag here. So, other than that, that's just a quick little review on how I check all my equipment when I buy used. Um, hopefully they hold up for a little while and get me some decent results in the field. Other than that, it's just a quick video on how I go over my uh, used tools. Let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.